What's going on everyone, Mario here again with Nickel Prince, and today we're going to learn how to make our own SVGs. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics, and that's what we use when cutting decals or heat transfer vinyl. For this, we're going to go ahead and use a free program called Inkscape. The link to download it will be in the description below. Again, the program is completely free. You can go ahead and download it. It's what I learned on and it's what I continue to use to this day to make my SVGs. Before we begin, I would like to ask you to please go ahead and subscribe. I know it doesn't seem like much, but to me it means a lot and it helps the channel a huge amount. So without further ado, let's go ahead and download Inkscape, get our image loaded, make our SVG, and cut. Let's do it. I already have Inkscape open in the background, so all we're going to do is drag and drop. Once we have the image loaded, let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. An easy way to do that is on Windows, hold Control and your scroll wheel. Scroll up, zoom in, scroll down, zoom out. So the first and easiest way to do this for a shape this simple is go ahead and right click it, look for trace bitmap. Over here in the side you're going to update so you can see a little preview and then click apply. And there you have it. That's the easiest way to do it. Now this works really well but if you have an image that's really small and bad quality or low resolution, a lot of the times what will happen is somewhere along let's say this curb here or one of the smaller details like this over here will start to look a bit jagged and rough. So in that case, what we can do is we can do everything manually. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and look for our pen tool. So what the pen tool does is it draws the outline for our shapes. An easy way to identify and keep track of these shapes is to just go ahead and fill it in with a color. Once I'm done with whatever shape or outline I'm working on and I have it filled, I always like to remove the borders. So for that, what we're going to do is just go ahead and down here, on our color palette, hold down shift, which selects the border and choose a color. So none. There we have it. Border removed. All right. So let's delete that and let's start outlining. So what I do with the pen tool is I start hitting every little corner like these right here. These are fairly simple. These are fairly simple since they are just straight lines. I try to get as close as I can to the edge. Now, you have this big curve here, right? What do we do? So I'm just going to go ahead and cut across, put it right here. And then I'm going to do the tip of the nose since I can see it has a little bit of a tip there. Another one down here, 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 here. And on this one that has two curves, there's a few different ways we can go about this. The way I would go about it is just by getting the center of the first curve and the center of the second and the end. Now once we're up here, I'm going to do the sides and all the way back over here. And the way we're going to connect our two endpoints is simply by clicking on the beginning. And there we have it, a random shape. That makes absolutely no sense. It looks like some abstract art here, let me tell you. I think I'm going to make this into a million dollar NFT. So since both the outline and the design are black, I'm just going to go, go ahead and make the outline red so I can see it better. So remember, shift, choose a color. So this is what we're going to do. You can either go to the side and look for the edit paths by nodes, or you can hit N to choose the tool itself, or you can simply double click anywhere on the lines. So this is what's going to come up. These little dots over here, they're called nodes. And you're going to see that everywhere we clicked, there's going to be a node. Now, what does that do? That controls each line. So here on the star, we don't really have to do much, but it's bothering me how these two nodes are not aligned. So let's fix that. You're going to click up here where your ruler is. Drag all the way down. Let's click it to one of these nodes. And that's all we're going to do. So as you can see, you have the line through here. Let's grab this node. Attach it to there. This one, attach. And this one, whoa, this one was way off. And attach that one. And there we have it, one perfectly aligned star. So how do we get this curve over here? Easy, let's bring up our nodes. Let's click this node right here. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hold down shift, click and hold the node and move outwards. And as you can see, the line is starting to curve. And zoom out a little bit. So that's how you would control the curve. Now you're gonna wanna do it up here and at the ending node. So that way you can get a nice even curve so let's do it about here let's move that about here 
At this point, once you already have these sticking out, you don't have to hit hold shift anymore. You can just click on this and drag. At first, it might feel complicated to be able to work with these, but trust me, after some playing around with it on simple shapes like this, you'll, you'll get the hang of it pretty easy. Now let me show you another way of making the curve. So instead of clicking on this and dragging these little guys out, all you have to do is click anywhere in the middle, hold and drag down. Now this will give you more of an even curve, so you can just place it about to where you want it to be, and then just adjust with the ones that came out. Sorry, I don't know the names of these little two, of these little handles here. I know they're handles, but alright, let's call them handles. Okay, so as you can see, it's not lining up quite right. So what you can do in this case is go ahead and line up the edges as much as you can. So we'll do the, so we'll line up the bottom and the top. And then we'll make another node here in the middle simply by just double clicking where we want it. Now by making this, we are fixing these handles so that way the curve doesn't keep going. And we can just raise this spot. Here. And if we want to adjust, we can do that the same way. One thing to note is when you make a node, once you already made handles on the sides, the handles that come out on the node are not adjustable by themselves. When you make a change with one, it'll turn the other. Now we have the little eye here in the middle. Let's go ahead and grab our pen tool again. Click here, 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 and here. Select all the edges. Let's see how it looks side by side. So a few things to note about the SVG we just made. One is the eye is completely separate. Whee! You can move it. So what we can do to fix that is go ahead and select both of them. Right click and group. That'll make both of them one. And if you ever want to separate it, you can just double click and move that. Or you can also right click and ungroup. Now how do we make it permanent? Let's go ahead and fill in our moon. All right, so if you notice, the eye also got filled in. The reason being is because this layer here is under this layer here. So this right now is transparent. If we save this and send it to our cutter, it'll cut just the way you see it. Everywhere where there's a red line, there will be a cut. For a quick design like this, you can just save it and send it to the cutter. But once you, can, once you start to get into more complicated designs, it'll start to get annoying. You'll mix up layers. So this is what we do to fix this part. What we're going for is all the white is going to be see-through part of the decal. So the decal itself will be whatever's in black. In order to make this an actual negative space, we're going to go ahead and select both, hit control, minus, and deleted. Now when you bring up the nodes, you're going to get these three nodes here that adjust the opening. So if you want to make any adjustments, you can just do that. Now this is all one. So we just finished making RSVG. What are some of the benefits of this? Well, for one, you can see it's already a lot more clear than this one. This one, as you start to zoom in, you start to see the quality get worse and worse and worse, pure pixelation, while the SVG is as sharp as it can get. You can zoom in or make them almost as big as you want. They're not gonna lose quality. Now you can go ahead and save this and send it to your cutter. To save it, you don't have to export anything. I usually just hit Control S and then I just choose where to save it.